So after mowing, we put the girls down for a nap, and then when they woke up, we headed to my father-in-law's place to celebrate his birthday. I didn't get any footage of it, but it was a pretty good time. Um, just hang out. Some, you know, gifts were given. Some cake was eaten, a nice ice cream cake, which was very much needed because it was hot today. It was humid today. It was awful. And because, you know, we're sort of like doing, um, like quarantine circles, you know, like obviously my immediate family here, me, my wife and kids are all in quarantine together, but we've also sort of brought in the grandparents as well. So it's kind of like a quarantine circle of family, but we're still only um, meeting with one another outdoors like we're not going inside of one another's homes we probably could honestly because it's not like we're seeing anybody but still you know like it, whenever we go grocery shopping things like that so I don't know if it makes a difference or not but we all just feel a little bit safer that way but because of that we did all of the eating outdoors and it was just so hot you know, and, and spaghetti is what we had for dinner and, you know, got that, those hot noodles, that hot meat tomato sauce, you're eating it and it is hot. It's already hot outside and you're eating hot food. Ugh, it, it's hard. But that ice cream cake at the end was very much needed and it was so tasty and perfect and exactly what we needed and the kids loved it too you know they got their first experience of ice cream not that long ago and they really enjoyed eating that today and there was like it was kind of like a oreo crust bottom then vanilla ice cream on top of that and then like crumbled oreos sprinkled on top with sort of like a uh you know chocolate fudge or syrup uh, drizzled over that so in a way it was just kind of like cookies and cream ice cream I guess if you wanted to like boil it down to a single flavor kind of kind of like cookies and cream ice cream because it was Oreos and ice cream just sort of layered not like mixed together or anything like that but it was tasty it was exactly what we needed on such a hot day which is kind of interesting because it's so creamy dairy milky you know I don't <laughs> imagine myself this is funny because this is reminding me of uh, the movie Anchorman. Remember when, I think, right, I mean, it's been a few years since I've seen it, but I believe Ron Burgundy is drinking, it's like hot San Diego weather, and I think he's drinking eggnog, right, outside when he's like sad and upset. Is it eggnog or is it milk? It might just be milk, but for some reason I'm feeling like it was eggnog. But anyway, it is interesting how even though it's scorching hot outside, we're still okay eating ice cream, that dairy product, that creamy dairy product. Um, you know, you would think because we don't want milk, we don't want eggnog, we don't want, I don't know, if you drink buttermilk. My grandma drank buttermilk. What? I've tried, but I do not like it as just a drink. But anyway... I don't know, if I think about it too hard, sometimes it's weird to me that we like ice cream in the heat. Obviously it's cold, and I get that, but still, dairy in scorching hot weather? I don't know. Anyway, maybe I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.